right, so we woke up this morning and we decided to take a drive down the coast uh, from Ankomaas where I live. And we popped in at Pennington's Kibo Club. And as we got there, the guys were getting ready to put a net in the water. There was a pocket of salt just off the right of the bay there. And even though we're not involved in the netting, it's still fun for us to watch a guy's net. The guys are all like chatting, screaming, and it's action everywhere. But when it comes to the netting, basically what happens is you've got guys that spot the sardines. So they'll see the shoal out there. They'll drop the boat in the water. Normally on the boat, you'll have a skipper plus two or three guys. The boat will run out position himself then one guy will jump off the one end of the net with a big stick and obviously there's a rope attached and the boat will circle around that shawl and the other guy will jump off the other end of the net and the boat will shoot down to the, back to the beach and from there the guys on the beach will take the ropes and start pulling in the net. On the beach, you'll have a guy with a whistle, and some they all with different codes. So the whistle basically means that guys on the left must pull the rope, or the guys on the right must give a bit of rope. And the two guys at the sea control the net. So the whole idea is to get that net coming in evenly, keep the pocket closed, so you don't want to open the net and the sardines all come out. That is a perfect scenario if it all works out like that. But there's so many things that can go wrong. There's currents out there, there's reef out there, um, the waves can barrel the net. So it's very difficult for these guys and it's always nice to see them actually succeed and get their sardines. Unfortunately the guys didn't get a big full net, but they ended up with, with a few crates of sardines which is still good enough. And while we were standing on the beach, a friend of ours phoned us and told us there's quite a lot of action to Zella. Um, the guys are netting and there's a few sharks around. So we packed our gear and we moved down to Zella to go look for a nice shark. Well, when we arrived at Cezela, there was absolute chaos. People, boats, nets on the beach with guys, some still pulling, others emptying the nets. So it was a very, very busy situation. And um, our game plan was to get some swords. We bought some swords from the guys and then just walk a little bit out of the crowd, put a bait out there and see if we could fish off. We noticed that there was quite a lot of sharks in the trough between the shoal on the back line and the beach. So um, it's, it's quite easy if you see the sharks and you pitch a bait at them, generally you, you might get a bite. So I built a nice bait that's nice and aerodynamic, got it into the right zone and I think it was two minutes and I had the bite and it's on with the fish. spray on the beach and there's a lot of side action a lot of anglers and a lot of sharks Well, when you fish in a big crowd like that, there's a lot of different anglers. You've got from your top anglers that know exactly what they're doing to a lot of guys just quite new at angling and excited. So you really got to be very patient. Um, you obviously don't want to get angry at anybody because we're all just loving the sport and getting excited about it. So the main thing to do is to stay focused, watch your line, watch people around use lines, 
when you're over under someone sort of just try and unknit the line quickly because it's very easy to get cut off by other people so that is your biggest struggle is just to keep your line clear of other anglers and as soon as your line's clear of other anglers the job is basically just to get the shark in get it to the beach and land it. of the most or the biggest crowd I'd say and uh great job landing the fish we got reef to the left so we want to force the fish a bit yeah get him in the bay there go duck some lines on that side fishing we had quite a steep beach running down to the bottom the tide was busy pushing and there was a big shore dump so we got the fish to the shoreline quite easily but just that last few meters where the water was sucking back constantly the fish was just lying in the deeper water I'd, I'd pull him up the beach and suck back again it was quite a struggle getting the fish in the right area to land him grab sharks I personally don't like using ropes but in this specific situation there was a friend of ours there with a rope and there wasn't too many guys who could help because everyone else is busy fighting fish so he quickly roped the tail of the shark and the purpose of that was basically just to hold the shark so the water doesn't wash it up and down so it actually helped us a lot in this situation while we're taking out the hooks Alright guys, so we landed that shark now, about 130 odd kilos, actually a nice smaller one to catch in this crowd, but we have 10 guys on. The nice thing is the guys aren't losing too much fish here today, which is very nice to see. Fish are a bit smaller, we're managing to land them, so this is just a patience game, going under, over, untying knots, but all part of the sardine run. <laughs> <laughs> 